Hey friends, it's Faith Talks time and I am really looking forward to this one today. I've just been um, meditating on it and thinking about it all week and uh, applying it in my life. So I wanted to share it with you today too. So last week I had my husband on with me. If you missed that one, you can go back and watch it. It was really good. I think people really like seeing us together. So next Friday, I will have him on with me and we will be in a really special location. So, um, but today it's just me by myself. So make sure you let me know where you're watching from. So I think it was last week. I'm kind of thrown off on days because they're going by so fast and I've had so much going on. But I think it was last week we were in a minister's conference. It could have been the week before. And Pastor Scott Webb of Alabama was one of the speakers there with my dad. And um, he uh, studied under um, Brother Hagen and went to Rama. So he gave all of us this picture. This picture was taken in his church. And that's Brother Kenneth Hagen. And if you notice, he's got one finger up and three fingers up here. And Pastor Scott was explaining this to us. And I really, I listened to those messages already again from that conference, I think three, three more times. And so he was sharing uh, with us what um, Brother Hagen was emphasizing with that picture. And this picture, I mean, it's gone all over the world. People have it. And so, of course, Brother Hagen's, you know, famous scripture, which he didn't write, <laughs> Mark 11, 23 and 24, Jesus said it himself, but Brother Hagen was known all over the world for preaching that scripture. And he used to always say, you know, when people would say, when are you going to preach something else? He'd say, well, when you get this, then I'll go on to something else. So anyways, he is saying in this picture, he's talking about, and I'll read the scripture to you. It says, Whosoever shall say, so there's a say, unto this mountain, be thou removed and be thou cast into the sea and shall not doubt in his heart, but shall believe that those things which he saith shall come to pass and he shall have whatever he says. So in that picture, He's talking about there's a believing and a saying and the importance of saying what we're saying, what you and I are saying to the mountains. He's saying, be removed, be cast into the sea, but it's speaking words to the mountains in our lives. And in that scripture, Jesus says it three times. He says, who shall whosoever shall say, it says, which he saith, whatsoever he saith will come to pass. He says that three times in that scripture. So I think it's really important that Jesus is emphasizing to us in Mark eleven twenty three 23, that there's power in our words. And when our words go out, you know, I've said this, you know this, but our words are carriers they're powerful, so whatever you're speaking, whatever you're saying, it's going out into the atmosphere and it's creating what you're expecting, what you're saying. So it's vitally important that your words are what God would want you to say. And specifically talking today about the mountains in our lives. You know, every one of us, I would think, most all of us are have something that we're standing for or believing for or, you know, there's something there, a mountain in our life. It could be finances, debt, um, a health issue, a relationship issue, something at work, whatever it is, there's challenges that all of us go through in our life. And that's a mountain. That's a mountain, you know, right in front of us. But Jesus is saying that when you speak to the mountain, then it's going to be removed. It's going to be cast in the sea. It will come to pass. First of all, when you believe it, and then you're speaking it. Three times, three times 
in that scripture, he's saying, whatsoever you say, whatsoever you say. So I want you to get the importance of that, that what is coming out of your mouth is vitally important for that mountain to be removed in your life. Your words move mountains. It's your words when they're coming out that they're going to move mountains in your life. That when you speak against that thing, whatever it is you might be facing right now in your life, that when your words speak against that, that they're going to move the mountains. God's words, it's God's words in your mouth. So God's words will move the mountains in your life. And you know what? I've grown up with that. I've known that all my life. But there really is, um, uh, there's power in that. And I'm really grabbing hold of that. Because when these thoughts want to take over, they want to bombard you with thoughts like, it's never changing. Um, I don't see anything different. I've been standing and believing for five years, 10 years, nothing's changing. When those thoughts want to take over, then eventually your words start matching what your thoughts are saying. So when those thoughts that don't line up with the word, you've got to shut them up. You have to shut them up. And I've been doing this all week long. I have some financial needs in my life right now. Some things that have just come up unexpected. Wham! You know, like it's like one day and then the next. And I'm like, oh my goodness, I wasn't expecting that. And I posted something about believing God for finances. And someone said something really rude, like, are you trying to take up donations or whatever. I'm not saying that for money. I'm saying it as an example to you that I go through things too. That, yeah, my last name's Savell, so what? I go through things too. And there's a mountain in my life right now. And it's a challenge. But I've been speaking the word against it every single time it comes up in my thoughts. Like, what are we going to do? Where's the extra money coming from? How's this going to work out? When those thoughts start coming, I have been speaking. I can't even tell you how many times this week it's come out of my mouth. My God shall supply all my needs according to His riches and glory by Christ Jesus. Not my riches. His riches and glory. So I keep saying that over and over and over my God shall supply when the thoughts come, whatever it is, that mountain in your life right now that you may be facing, and it wants to bombard your thoughts with, we're never going away, we're always going to be here, this mountain's talking to you, I'm always going to be here, I'm not going away, I'm not, you know, you're not seeing anything change, you've been tithing, you've been giving You've been praying and nothing's changing. When those thoughts come, then you have to say to that mountain, be removed in my life. And you speak what God says. God's words move mountains. I hope you get that today. God's words move mountains. Don't talk about the mountain. Talk to the mountain. That's so good. Because the mountain wants to talk to you, and then you want to tell everybody else about it. Well, I've got this issue in my life, or my child has done this, or this happened, and you want to start talking about the mountain in your life to people. Instead of talking about that mountain in your life, you start talking to that mountain. You start telling it to be removed in your life right now. Again, friend, there's power in your words. Don't sit there and put up with this mountain in your life. Speak to the mountain. And I'm telling you, I'm preaching to myself because I've been doing this all week long. I know to do it, but I've been just kicking it up a notch. I've been like, uh uh, when the thought comes, that says it's not going to change, or where's the money coming from, or this, I say, nope, I speak to that mountain. And I start quoting what God's word says towards that mountain. I hope you're getting that today. I hope it's just a little faith encouragement for you today. 
a reminder. You probably already know this. Maybe you slacked off a little bit and speak into those mountains. But today, I want you to speak to the mountain. Um, this morning, I was reading, and I'm reading the Bible all year long. And um, we're almost here at the end of the year, so I'm almost done. But today, we were reading from um, Psalms 103. And it says that he fills my life with good things. That was the one scripture that really stood out to me. It says, he fills my life with good things. And I'm telling you, since right now it's noon here in Texas, since I read that this morning to right now, I have probably said that out loud to my mountain at least 50 times already this morning. And, and thanking him, saying, Lord, you fill my life with good things. And when a thought comes that doesn't seem very good, I say, no, he fills my life with good things. And I just have begun to thank him and worship him and praise him for the answer and also thank him for the mountain of lack being removed in my life. So he fills my life with good things. Find something that you can hang on to, a scripture, a word from God. Hang on to that and speak it out. He fills, today my word is, he fills my life with good things. Thank you, Lord. And I speak that over you right now in Jesus' name. He fills your life with good things. Can you say that with me or put it in the comments? He fills my life with good things. Like I said, there is power in your words. Your words are carriers. They go out and they create what you say. So we just said, my life is filled with good things. That word goes out into the atmosphere and the angels go to make it happen. Make my life, make your life be filled with good things. When my words say that he gives me the desires of my heart, then that word goes out and it begins to create. And it removes the, the mountain, of doubt, mountain of doubt in my life. When I begin to speak what he says, it has to go out and do what God's word says. So begin to speak with, um, with purpose. Don't just say anything, you know, flippant, whatever, just whatever words. I never know what's going to happen. When it rains, it pours. Um, nothing good ever comes to me or I get, what, two steps ahead and three steps back. Those kind of things. Stop saying that. Don't say it anymore. Begin to speak what the Word says and watch that mount. I'm expecting this mountain, as I'm speaking to you right now, there is this mountain I'm facing. A financial situation that just came up. It's right there. I see it, but I'm speaking towards it. I'm speaking to it. I'm not talking about my mountain. I'm not telling you in great detail. I'm just giving you an example. But I'm not going to go around, oh, you know, this and that, and oh, we weren't expecting that. I'm not going to talk about my mountain. I'm going to speak to my mountain. So don't talk about your mountain to people. Speak God's words to your mountain. Are you getting that? Are you getting that today? If you need healing in your body, then you begin to speak health over your body. You live in divine healing. You walk in divine health. Begin to speak that over your, over your body right now. You believe yourself more than any other person. So what you're saying is so important. What's coming out of your mouth is what's important. And I know you've heard this before. I've even said it on here before. But your thoughts become your words. And your words become your actions and your actions become your habits, and your habits become your lifestyle, and your lifestyle becomes your character, and then your character becomes your destiny. So think of the power of a thought that then becomes a word. So again, don't take it lightly when, 
when you speak something, speak something knowing that there's power in what you're saying. There's power in it. I'm expecting God to intervene and come through in my life and remove that debt or remove that mountain of debt that I'm seeing right now or this, this, this lack that came up, you know, this financial thing that came up. I'm expecting God to do what his word says he'll do for me. So I'm speaking it. So whatever you may be facing right now, begin to speak to that mountain. Remember this picture. I showed it earlier. If you're just getting on here, Brother Hagen, Mark 11, 23 and 24. He says, there's one time it says believe and three times you're saying, you're saying to the mountain. So there's such importance in what you're saying. I hope you got that today. I hope that just builds you up. You know, this, this show I do every Friday is called Faith Talks. Well, let's begin to talk faith. Talk faith today. All right, I hope that helps you, blesses you, builds your faith up. Remember today that when that mountain that you're facing wants to, you know, try to stand in your way, begin to speak to it, speak to it, speak to it. Saying your words have power. Speak to the mountain and watch it be removed in your life. All right, have a great rest of your day, and I'll see you again next Friday. Bye.